and racing. No news uh, jumped nicely. Along there with home was Tasha, goes to the lead and round the outside up there, Dapper Danny shows a bit and uh, railing up there, Homebush Hazel. So Homebush Hazel's grabbed the lead, gets away too around the corner, Dapper Danny, and now running on No News. Back we go, Homebush Tasha, but away goes Homebush Hazel to beat No News and Dapper Danny. They followed Homebush Tasha. Little gap the others. Uh, Homebush Meyer down on the inside, Homebush Demi. Back we get to smash damage and Homebush Austin back there as well. Racing. Pat Peller out well enough and showing up there, Matariki. Now the speed coming from a power loyal and out wide of Victoria Vickers. Into the bend they go and a power loyal has grabbed the lead. They followed Pat Beller. Now coming around Dotty Fields is making ground around Victoria Vickers. A long gap there into Oblivion. They followed well back there by Gold Star Arden. Matariki's drifted and well back, no bargain. One dog affair though on the corner. A power loyal has got right away. A power loyal will dash away and get the prize. Look at into Oblivion arriving late. We'll get up for second. Victoria Vickers in a photo with Dottie Fields and then we've got Matta Ricky. Uh, the rest are headed further back there by uh, next on cross and Gold Star Arden. Back there also no bargain towards the tail and Pat Bella was back there also. racing. Uh, best out wide on the track. We've got Dime Diva followed up by another message. Nipper of some Booker going quickly and up and around the outside. Black Dan after a gap. Another message there followed Zulu Marco. Last Brad Baxter around the corner grabbing the lead. Black Dan drawing away. Black Dan will beat Nipper of some Booker. Gold Star Bright into third. Then another message there followed by Dime Diva back there. Brad Baxter and uh, Zulu Marco at the tail. And the, remember, of course, the late scratching of Valerian Steel. And racing. First out, Magic Brody. Fight up Jed and showing up there, Polyphonics. But fight up Jed starting to rally now and gets up on the inside of Polyphonics and goes to the lead and round the outside. Tried to get into it there. Apava Vegan was checked into third now. Amy Boy and along the rail comes Magic Brody. Then Bookie Monster looking for racing room. Meanwhile, Jed's away and gone. And uh, here's Cheese Please into the race. Fight up Jed now. Cheese Please is starting to mow it down and up they come. Cheese Please getting over the top. Will beat Fight up Jed. Jed, photo third, not much between PK Shan and Bookie Monster. They're followed further back in the field there by the next Opawa Vegan. They're followed by, uh, well, back there we had towards the tail Polyphonics. Amy Boy was back there also, and up ahead of those Magic Brody. racing best out of the middle homebush riley and down on the inside verbena and now coming around quickly we've got uh, my hoke in off the track elora now well back for lendy star can't do it it's near enough the last around the corner getting away my hokey my hokey will beat elora they're followed by verbena outside of that was patty's pick little gap there to terramondo a long gap adjudicator the lendy star and back there homebush riley the two favorites were second last and last
racing, Homebush miles out like a rocket. Three in front early, they're followed by Leo Sun, and down on the inside, Homebush Shea runs through, and up and around the outside, promised to keep a little gap, Homebush India around the corner, Homebush miles though is nicely clear, Homebush miles by two and a half will beat Leo Sun, promised to keep third, Homebush Shea was fourth, then Homebush Indy, little gap there to Colby Yogi, and the two at the back, Homebush Brody and Ollie Bonham. racing Best out home was Kelso along there with the Gold Star Lincoln going hard, running clogs about to get the rails run and also going around the outside. Terra Bindi running clogs has been shunted back a bit down on the inside. Sahara Sam, then Just James up they come and uh, oh, it's going to be close here. Very close between Gold Star Link and Homebush Kelso. Princely Gold was wide and along the inside. No deception out wider, Just James. They're followed further back there. We had uh, Sahara Sam and back there also Terra Bindi. And uh, after a roughly uh, run race, their running clogs got, um, got spat out the back door and it was one of the last there on crossing. And racing, Gold Star Poe jumped in front and handy, no worth. They're followed through on the inside. Gold Star Miley gets nice and handy into the straight they run. They were followed then by Dinah Elk and uh, trying to improve K-Bomb has two behind it. A power hope after jumping well drifts a bit. And back there, no courtesy. Into the back they go and Gold Star Miley reaches the lead. Out after it now, we've got Dinah Elk running on. And down on the inside, they were followed. In fact, that's no worth going to second. Gold Star Poe and over the outside, dead wide running on a bit between runners no worth but into the straight and nicely clear gold star Miley no worth running out of time and gold star Miley will win it and second home no worth and then four to Dinah Elk K Bomb got home for fourth then on the inside we had uh, gold star Poe back there dead Wong and no courtesy it was back there also racing. Best out would have been down on the inside, Wombox, and up and around the outside quickly goes Princely Gold, will find the top, and then coming into it, Giancana, little gap, the others, no lap, Zulu Jasper, last their hot dog, Shannon, Princely Gold, the favourite, took over though, and around the corner, Princely Gold is home, Giancana, third Wombox, a gap of four back, no lap, Zulu Jasper, and outside that hot dog, Shannon, and uh, we had two late scratchings here, number two, Idle Georgie, also seven, Roadworks in the first leg of the quad. And racing. Nicely out Greyburn and also out wide on the track home with Spud going up Avalanche City. Nice and handy. He'll get a glorious run at the first corner. So the leader at the moment is Greyburn, but Avalanche City sits handy. Three lengths away home with Spud. A length and a half to Fab Action, a couple of lengths away. They were followed back in the running there by K. De Bale. Uh, that's followed further back there by Coco Bango, but on the corner and railing up there, Avalanche City took the shortcut, grabbed the lead, dashed away, will beat Greyburn. They're followed into third K to Bale. They're followed by Arcane Sabre. Back behind those runners, we had Fab Action. They're followed back there by, back there home was Clinton Coco Bango towards the tail of the field.
and racing. Smash Rebel comes out running, and so too a Power Anthony, and they're followed by Sea Spray Elsa, a Power Plum, nice and handy on the rail. So round the turn out of the straight they go, and the leader at the moment is Smash Rebel. They're followed by a Power Anthony, a Power Plum, about to unwind. Uh, you'd want to be on him, wouldn't you? The way it's going. They're followed back. We go there too. Gold Star Marvelly over on the outside. Uh, got Bossy Affair. They turn and a Power Plum charged into the lead and down the straight it races away. A Power Plum, a Power Anthony. Third dead set tight. Gold Star Marvelly and just knocking up a bit there. Smash Rebel. They're followed by the next there, Bossy Affair. Further back there we get to Trenty Blake and that was back with Gold Star Dodge towards the tail of the field. Racing, one of the best out, Kopitara. A uh, Hoka Magic, a good beginning. They're followed out there by Odin Slayer, handy enough. A length of two back, Rocket Jill. They're followed out wider still by Geno Geno around the corner. Kopitara, Hoka Magic driving along the inside, but in front, Kopitara, and they hit it. Oh, it's close. Kopitara driving along the inside of Hoka Magic, nothing in it, Odin Slayer third, they're followed by Starburst Emma, outside of them was Ginger Lock, wider still there, we had Geno uh, Geno and Bursar towards the tail. Yeah. 